right now. This video is long overdue. Now, I wanted to get him to T20 before anything. I took off all of his stuff for his uh, uh, transcendence just because I wanted to make sure that he was like pretty much one out of five. We will, when he, we calculate the soul bomb damage, I do want to remove 75% of the damage just so that way it's like an accurate test of what he would do at one out of five because you do get 25% extra damage each time. It's still one of my favorite soul bombs in the game. Transformation mechanic on the second strong attack. I love that transformation too. Ah, oh, it's so good. Okay. Resurrected, bro. About time. This character has, is almost five years old. And he's getting resurrected. Now. That's kind of funny. I do have a lot of Ichigos. Don't uh, don't judge me. <laughs> Let's do this. They really need to fix this. Make it a little quicker. If you have if you have all the mats, it should just let you like fly through everything, right? Just my opinion. Did I do heart? I really hope I did not. Nice, I did not do heart yet. Perfect. Alright, so for this Ichigo, let's just quickly run through him. Alright, damage inflicted at full stam 16% upon resurrection, which is really good. And as far as the skills go, he actually doesn't pick up anything except for booster. I did give him a long stride as well as full stamina and damage boost, so that way he can like fly across the battlefield like a badass type of goose. We have switch of pressure 30, 30, 30 across the board. I did take this off of my other thousand of blood work Ichigo, and yeah, damage inflicted at full stam, Sar, damage inflicted at full stam, Sar, max transcended, and then we have Nell, who is uh, Sar 14, strong attack damage 16%. I could have given him Sen Senkaizen, but I do want the strong attack recharge, especially for that boost, which we'll talk about in a bit, because he probably has like one of the worst boosts that you could have from back in the day. It's not as bad as like not having a damage radius around him but we'll talk about that in a bit so unfortunately this character did not actually pick up uh havoc which is kind of unfortunate so his lunge is just a standard old lunge second strong attack is a transformation mechanic but the radius is only 525 and now with enemies that like preemptively attack like is a bit risky We'll see if we can do this without getting hit. Definitely want to go back a bit. There's strong attack right here. I do like the long stride. Do we stay in our transform state after? Oh, he definitely feels good. Or maybe, maybe it's my nostalgia, bro. Maybe it's just my boomer energy. <laughs> is that a thing? Boomer energy? I don't know, bro. This character is five years old. Like, actually five years old. I'm definitely not taking him into co-op. You got me messed up if you think I'm taking his ass into co-op. He's going to die a brutal death. He's not going to be dealing any type of damage. Actually, I'm not going to lie. It didn't do all that bad. Because now that I think about it, that was IT, right? And that was with like Iron Skin. How much damage are we gonna be dealing here, right? So, uh, first strong attack, 26,000, 35k. We also pick up the boost here. So the 26,000 turns into 32,000. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. That's a, that, that's kind of on the high end. Thirty-four K. Okay. 
Since we do have the fortification pill, we also have uh, inflated focus, which means that we'll also be dealing a bit more. Yeah, there's the 30k with the boost. Okay. Oh no! Bruh. That's a whole L. Do I heal? Don't quite remember if I heal. No. Sixty-three, but we don't have full stem. He definitely feels good though. I'm 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 enjoying it. I really don't know. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very biased when it comes to this game. Like I, I see a lot of people that they're like they're like, I'm not biased, I'm not biased, but like there's always gonna be some type of bias. Cause whether or not you think a character feels good, that's like complete preference, to be honest. 33k. Should be guard broken. Alright, so we're boosted right now. Let's do this. So we did say what we would do with that, right? Uh, let's uh, bring up paint. Oh my gosh, he's bringing up Microsoft Paint. Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, so here's 140k right there. So this is critical damage, right? Um, honestly, if you're boosted, I don't think critting is actually out of the realm of possibility, only because you're inflating with booster, right? You're inflating your boost by like four. You're inflating your focus by like 42%. So this character has a base focus of 368 and then we're going to add on all that other focus that he has onto him, right? So let's uh, finish this run and then we'll calculate in like the focus and all that, the chances of actually critting and all that. Boom, boom. Ah, I should have saved my soul bomb for this room, this room, bro. Ain't no way I really fell for that, bro. Almost fell for it again, bro. <laughs> I didn't go lie. I almost fell for it again. Whoa! Oh snap! I don't want to get hit by that. So we dealt 140k when we were boosted. I don't remember if I'm boosted here. I should be, but... Boom, boom. 73k. Oh, I, I probably wasn't at full stem then. Okay, so either way, 140k. That was with critical, right? 140,000. I want to see if the crits are consistent enough to merit... Whether or not... Um, I want to remove that because you usually you, you can just remove crit damage it's just 20 percent if you don't have over a thousand so we have 368 base crit and then the 368 multiply this by it's 42.9 percent i think 42.9 is it? it's 33 percent times 1.3 42.9 so it's 368 plus the 111 because that's going to be the damn the fo this is the focus that we have and then it's going to be plus 10 percent 1.1. This is the focus that we get from starting the run. And then we're going to multiply this by 1.429. That's that 42.9%. And we're going to have 75.2, no, 75 point, almost 3% chance to crit whenever we attack. I, I'd say that's relatively consistent chance to crit. So we're going to keep the 140k. And that's going to be the damage that we would normally deal if we had a four out of five soul bomb don't forget he's four out of five so we're going to actually divide this by 1.75 and then we're going to get down to 80,000. 
80,000 per hit times four. For a character that doesn't have like weakening or weakened defense, this character dealing 320k at four out of five, at one out of five, at one out of five, because we removed the, the excess damage. Yeah, that's actually pretty good damage. And obviously I could just level up his focus, get him up to 1,368 focus, and this character is 100% guaranteed to crit, you get the crit damage and all that. But I really wanted to test this character out at 1 out of 5, and that's going to be the damage that we get for that. Keep in mind that your soul bomb level only bo uh, measures your, uh, only affects your soul bomb, and transcendence is what actually affects the character if your character is more than 1 out of 5. But yeah, I mean, that's gonna pretty much conclude the video. I just wanted to showcase and um, see how he plays and... He feels good, but I'm not gonna lie. I really feel like it's just... It's just my boomer, boomer energy, bro. I, th I really think that that's a thing.